And now for something completely different. That for which Frugal Daddy has dumpster dove, dumpster dived, dumpster divin. Frugal Daddy, king of the dumpster, has returned. He has fought off the mighty turkey vulture, and here is the bounty of his efforts. Box number one, box number two. Let's get an inventory, Daddy. There's a wagging tail in the video. I actually left one of these because there were two, and I thought, we're going to have a hard time going through these. Why do you always tell me about what you left behind? You know how that upsets me. Oh, those are beautiful bananas. Look, people. Look, people of the world. Is there something wrong with these bananas that these should end up in a landfill? The answer is no, there's nothing wrong with these. So there's a whole crate of beautiful bananas. Three layers. I am absolutely amazed by how beautiful and perfect these bananas are. They're at the perfection of ripeness. How's that banana, Daddy? Perfect. Perfect banana. Potassium and fiber. Can you aim the camera somewhere else, maybe? No, eat the banana. If it was only bananas you had brought from the dumpster, it would be a triumph. But wait, there's more. What's next, Daddy? Creme cake sampler. Did you want some creme cake? Flash wants creme cake Flash sampler. Cream. Vanilla, chocolate, Louisiana crush. Are you sure that says crush? Crunch. <laughs> and sock it to me. I recognize this because we got one of these before. We got that last time and I thought it was room freshener and you thought it was a hair product. Canola oil. Yeah, we got one of those last time too. So we're good on canola spray. I know. Now we know what it looks like so we can um, just yeah. pull it out. And clearly it's not selling well because it was marked down. All right. We have five lactose-free whole milk. Nope. Six lactose. No. Seven lactose-free milks. Smoked white cheddar. Yeah, more cheese for non-vegan daddy. Yep. We've got the Havarti. That's a nice cheese, actually. Yeah. All right, daddy, tell me about this trail mix. There was a case of trail mix. Uh, some of them popped out, so I left those, but these were still in the box. How many trail mixes did he find? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten trail mix. Let's take a closer look, because I'm very excited about this trail mix. It has... Cranberries, almonds, raisins, raspberry flavored cranberries, blueberries, roasted cashews, and walnuts. That sounds like a pretty good mixed dog. We got dried fruits and nuts. What are you doing way over there? What are you doing over there? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. You getting a cup of coffee? Are you opening that cake and it's not even 7 in the morning? I just want to make sure it's not bad. Might have gone bad. Are you going to try the Louisiana Crush? Yes. It's going bad. I think we better get rid of it. You're going to finish it today? Is that what you're saying? Look, everybody. When Daddy really likes something, he starts to giggle. So you always know if he likes food. And if it's high in sugar, you're going to get the giggle. So we have two bags of grapes. That's fabulous. And another bag of apples. <gasps> no, you did not get ginger. Oh, look at that, people. Three bags of ginger. I know you don't read your texts from me, but I did text you. When did I have my doctor's appointment? I did text you two days ago. I was at the doctor's office, and I was reading this WebMD magazine article. Um, it, was a thing of, it, was a, it was a little magazine for diabetics, actually. But it gave a recipe for... A ginger lime slaw and the recipe looked great and I texted you and said we need to get limes and ginger from the dumpster and you just brought me ginger I don't even think you read that text but it because you don't but it was out there I put it out there in the universe and ginger has come to us and I did read it you did oh that's so loving now I need limes how much of that cake have you had in the last five seconds <sighs> don't look at that oh my god don't look at it <laughs> This isn't good for your diabetes. I'm... All right, he's pre-diabetic, not really diabetic. And I'm the only one who's diagnosed that, but it's likely to be true. And it's once in a while. Oh, that is such a lie. You How eat... How often do I eat this? 
This particular cake, you eat it every time we find it in the dumpster, and there have been other times. Twice a summer. However, what other sugar-laden foods do you eat? You get candy all the time. You get cupcakes, donuts, danishes. People know. People remember the videos. They I'll know how you one. eat. We got a little bag of little baby potatoes. Look how cute little they are. Potatoes. I know. I want to make them for lunch. Little baby potatoes. My grandmother loved these kind of we little potatoes. Them in olive oil. And we have a nice package of blueberries. Blueberries have a lot of antioxidants, you know. If you freeze blueberries and just eat them frozen, they are a really nice, refreshing, refreshing. They're a nice, refreshing little frozen summery treat. Better than ice cream. Is there more from the dumpster, Daddy? There's more in the backyard. We're going to go look at it. The rest of the dumpster find is back here in Daddy's hoarding lair. All right, we have some very unusual finds. Unusual for us. We got three of these activity trays, they're called. I'm not wild about the green color, but I think these are fantastic because the kids could sit in bed if they're homesick from school. They could be coloring and have their crayons or their markers in one of these little cubbies. They could put a, a cup of juice or water or ginger ale in the other little cubby. I actually plan to personalize these for the kids. I have these funky markers and maybe I'll show you that later because they love stuff with their names on it. Two packages. Insoles. Cool gel insoles. A hey. beehive. Honeycomb beehive insert. We think this is a pot holder, correct? Two strawberry hullers. Three packages of spoon rests. We have the six piece trim and edging kit. That's really good. I think it kind of shows it's meant to be that maybe we finish some of our painting projects. And the girls were actually asking for one of these because one broke. It's a bike bell. A wireless bicycle computer, which I'm sure everyone needs. Water bottle ice cube tray. Here's an item that Frugal Daddy brought home one of. Now, it's a car seat organizer. It's going to hang on the back of a car seat so the child behind it can store her crayons, paper, toys, whatever. But he only got one. He left about 25 behind. He brought home one because we have twins who need everything exactly the same. We need one for each child in the car. So he left 25 behind and brought home one. What's that? A uh, double USB for a um, car charger. And there we have a tablet, a tablet holder. Tablet holder for holding your tablet. While you drive? Oh, it's for the back seat. You know, keep in mind, folks, we don't own a tablet, and I don't plan to own a tablet. And when we drive around, my kids just get to be bored in the back seat. They don't get to watch movies. And they just have to sing songs and learn how to get along and yeah. play games they and entertain talk themselves. They actually to each other. Yeah. You know, if we had to drive all the way to Maine because we were moving there to start our new wonderful life, maybe they'd get a movie. But uh, I don't even know because we don't have a tablet. And luckily, two in a package because he left the other 30 packages behind. Mm -hmm. And we have two children. What do we have there? Two cylinder foot pump for blowing up balls or tires. Wow. It's a um, drawer organizer. I like that because I like me some organized drawers. Daddy found some fashion items. Can you hold these up to I don't your... want to go through each one. Oh, there's only three. Don't sass me. All right, here's Daddy's new... Oh, a drawstring to hold my belly in. This is fun. I'm really enjoying this. Here's Daddy's new dress. Daddy has a wig. He likes to dress up as Gloria. Gloria is his deceased mother. I know, it's very psycho. Have you guys seen the movie Psycho? It's very much like that. And he's going to use this dress to go with the Gloria wig. That's a really great find, Daddy. That looks nice. That's going to look good on you. It might be a little tight. You guys think I'm kidding about the wig, but I'm I, not. Really? <laughs> and Daddy found a yoga top. Ladies Medium. yoga shirt which I might or might not wear. But let me just say, I don't believe in buying clothes for working out. Like, I don't believe that if you're gonna do yoga, you need to buy yoga clothes. People, just wear a t-shirt and your old gym shorts or some sweats. You don't go out and buy 
workout clothes. I find that absolutely ludicrous. It's luxuriously soft, it's an active fit, and it's got a stylish back. What kind of fit? An active. Sounds like you said aftive. I did. I didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> and the one thing that I almost gave up on and I swore I'm going out to buy some. You wouldn't think this is possible. Garbage bags. We were out of garbage bags and Frugal Daddy was throwing a daily hissy fit about it and he just found a whole thing of garbage bags in the dumpster. See, we don't need money because we have trash. We live on love and garbage. It's a bicycle stand. Are you going to start repairing bicycles? <laughs> well, okay, so to become a bicycle repair guy, apparently you need to shave your head. See, I was hoping this would be the kind of stand where you could turn your bike into a stationary bike and then hook it up to a generator so you get your morning workout on your bicycle, but you're also charging a battery and it's enough of a battery perhaps to make a round of toast and then you've made toast for free. I think you could hold a tablet in here too. Well, of course you want to have a tablet. Or a clock. Oh, oh God, Jesus, this could God. be a clock. No. All right, and the final item is a little Febreze car freshener with the scent of Hawaii. What scent do you think that is? Pineapple and passion flower? Or volcano. <laughs> the scent of Volcan sizzling volcanic. flesh. Oh my God, that's awful as um, the volcano hits the uh, livestock. There's something behind you that I must show them that I found in this dumpster and we never recorded it. Um, yes, we did. We, yes. This beautiful item has been in another video and you all might remember how much I didn't want it set up in the yard, but I came home the other day. Well, I think yesterday, in fact, and it was really, really windy. And this thing was spinning like crazy. And the, the flower petals spin in opposite directions, which is so mesmerizing. You're getting sleepy, sleepy. I think I might have a seizure. Anyway, this is the beginning of our wind power empire. Daddy's gonna figure out how to hook this thing up so that it charges a battery when the wind blows. He said he could do it, and now he's committed to doing it. Do it, Daddy, do it. Do it, do it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this episode of freaking freaking dumpster diving vegans. I have to say it, because vegan and freaking rhyme. Freaking freaking frugal vegan. Dumpster diving, schmegan schmegan. Daddy, when are you gonna get going on our wind power? Soon. Dogs chasing a cat. Soon. As soon as I'm finished with everything else. I need more specificity. Um, sooner or later. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Sayonara, deep divers. <laughs>